In today's video, we're gonna talk about the kitty cat purr. What is the kitty cat purr? One of the things that's used the most in, in songs, especially funk drumming, is a rudiment called the drag. And with the drag, what you're essentially doing is you're allowing the stick to just kind of buzz with the snare drum. Okay, music you might hear this in would be something from maybe Chad Smith from the Chili Peppers. So notice when I play those little snare drum things that it sounds like this. So it, it leads right into the hi-hat hit. And when I teach this, I like to call it the kitty cat purr because all it is is just allowing the stick to just gently buzz across the head. It sounds like a kitty cat purr. And what you have to do to achieve that is you have to try to keep the stick low, like really low to the head because if you don't do it that way, a lot of times I'll see people where they'll start the stick up high and then, then they'll go into the drag. Like that. The only problem with that is, is now you have an unwanted accent or louder hit at the beginning. Versus just that. So you wanna to try to keep the stick low and then I'm gonna show you what's also really important about, uh, in another video I talked about the stick being in the ready position. And if your stick sits just above the head like this, what that allows you to do is it gives you the ability to go in whatever direction or dynamic you might wanna play with. So if I'm, I'm gonna play my, what would be my hi-hat on my right leg just so you can see or hear my snare drum a little bit better. But if I'm playing a combination of ghost notes with drags and backbeats, it would sound like this. Now if you take notice, when I'm going to play my backbeat hits, what I'm doing if I did this in slow motion is I still come back to just, this is my, my neutral position always. It's just the stick a little bit above the head. And what I do for the backbeat hits is I take the stick in my hand and I'm actually opening my hand up like this. So notice I'm not bringing the stick up like a lever this way with the arm, but rather keeping the stick low, notice the position of my hand. Hand stays down here, stick plays by opening this way, not this way. So I've got my hand right here, I can play my drag if I want to. But then if I wanna play a backbeat, I still have my stick starting there, Notice where my stick returns to. My, my stick returns to just that ready position. So again, the kitty cat purr, you want to keep the stick low, ready to play, and not starting from this position up here. Always keeping the stick low. So again, if I'm playing this, Another thing you'll take notice too as well, if you watch my stick when I'm playing, I'll try to do it in slow motion for you, or just a little bit slower rather, but when my stick is in this position, it's usually angled down just a little bit, okay? So in other words, it's not my hand isn't down here, but my hand is perhaps upward just a little bit so that that way I can get right back down to what I wanna play again. That way all I'm doing is just a matter of lifting my stick a tiny little bit. So when you're working on drags and ghost notes, keeping the stick low, letting that, that stick just do that little kitty cat purr. Remember a nice, nice little, that type of thing. And last but not least, when you play the drag into your hi-hat, 
try to let that drag last right into that next beat. So in other words, if you're playing, you don't want to cut that drag short like this. Where there's space in between. You want to have it bleed right into the next hit. So it's brum, brum, coming right in. So hope you got something out of this video. That's the kitty cat purr. See you next time.